two young Melbourne girls, Pat Carroll and Olivia Newton-John, made regular appearances on Time for Terry and quickly became major drawcards. The things we did last summer I remember all we Will you be understanding? And time after time You hear me say that I'm So lucky to be loving So lucky to be loving So lucky to be loving You Their personal charm and talent was obvious but one man who saw their future potential was Terry O'Neill, as he revealed on their final appearance on his show. Look, on behalf of everyone here, we would like to wish you every success. And I mean that sincerely. And I think you're going to have a great big success. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, I've got bets on it. I've got news for you. Want to see you come back here next time as the big stars, you know, touring around. All right? Maybe movies as well. You never know. Here we are. The rest, as they say, is history. Olivia, of course, went on to international stardom. Olivia Newton-John was an absolute delight. She was a, a very pretty young lady, as uh, most people would realise. She was very young at that time, uh, very, very ardently involved with Ian Turpey, who was madly in love with her at the time. I'd be contented to live anywhere. What would I care? As long as you were there, skies may not always be blue. But one thing is clear as can be, I know that I could be But her ultimate career uh, really ascended very sharply once she left there. They did extraordinarily well in, uh, in America in the early years, and of course we all know where she's gone since then. Oh, how can I Pat Carroll married her childhood sweetheart, John Farrah, of the four-man group The Strangers. He just happened to write two hit songs for the movie Grease. Remember, you're the one that I want and hopelessly devoted to you? Not bad. Olivia and Pat remain close friends to this day. Even 